Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick round brush style. I have a lot of guests, clients, friends who ask me, how do you round brush your own hair? It's so hard, I can't do it. Well, here's a little quick video to help you figure it out. So first you want to have the right tools and the right product, of course. Um, I wash my hair, I let it air dry for about 15 minutes while I ate my breakfast. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Aveda Smooth Infusion Nourishing Styling Cream and put it on my mid lengths and ends. Just a little bit works for me. I have pretty fine hair and it's already pretty straight, so it doesn't need a whole lot of product. When I was blonde, I used twice as much of that product because it just helps your hair feel so soft and smooth. Next product I'm going to use, because my hair is pretty much, actually no, I'm going to rough dry my hair just till it's about 80% dry and then we'll get the next product in. Okay, now I'm going to put my next product in. It didn't take long because, of course, I let it air dry for about 15 minutes. I'm going to use Aveda's Volumizing Tonic. This is a great root booster. It a, has a great hold. Um, it gives it some shine and it smells amazing. So I'm going to use this pretty much at the root down to the mid lengths of the hair. I'm going to put it in different sections here. Especially focusing on the root, but then also not worrying if the product gets elsewhere. You can definitely go overboard with this product. It gets stickier and stickier the more you use it. The more you spray it. kind of getting the mid lengths. With a round brush style you really want a lot of hold with your product. This is pretty much great for any type of hair too. Next thing I'm going to do is clip it up in sections. These are my favorite clips. I got them when I was in cosmetology school and I have no idea where you can buy them, but they're amazing. Hope I never lose them. So I already have my part kind of picked out, but I'm going to take sections, kind of, I have three clips, so I'm going to clip up three sections. I'm going to twist the hair up, secure it with the clip. I guess you could say they're about one and a half inch sections. The more you, the more you do, I guess the, the easier it is to get the hair dry and make sure you get it all the more sections you do, especially if you have really thick hair. So this is what it looks like in the back. Okay, now I'm going to attach my, uh, this is called a concentrator for your blow dryer. Very important, I think, because it gets the air nice and flat. And I'm going to get started. pretty easy. The first section is done. 
And you can see I kind of would flip the, I'd kept, keep the brush rolling even after I was done blow drying that section just so that the heat of the brush would help to curl the hair just a little bit under. So I'll do that for the next few sections. done most sections here um, and because I want it to really stay well before I do this top section I'm going to hairspray. I'm using Chi and Viro hairspray. I don't have any of Veda. I wish I did um, but I need to reorder. in the ear. It's the worst thing ever. Or on the neck. So here's what it looks like so far. And as you probably saw, as I was kind of getting further back in the sections, I would take the, the round brush this way, um, just so I could pick up the hair that was still wet instead of everything. That just like gives your arms a real workout. I mean, it already does, but a little bit easier to just take a little bit at a time. Last section. good has a lot of volume so I just want to make sure I hairspray I like to hairspray while it's still kind of hot I feel like it helps I don't know if that's true but you definitely want to make sure the front piece is looking really good if it doesn't look good just wet it down and re-blow dry super simple There you have it. Nice little little round brush blow dry at home. And it is a workout, but it's worth it. This hairstyle will last me probably four days, and I do work out every day. Almost. Of course, the second day, I'll kind of refresh it with dry shampoo. The third day, I might do a half top knot. By the fourth day, I definitely have it in a full-on ponytail or top knot, pretty slicked back. It's usually pretty greasy by then, but four days is so good, so it's worth the 20 minutes spent blow drying. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me. I'd love to hear.